Hey, Bangladesh, Nepal. I wanted to reach out to you guys specifically um, and as well as for any other groups, um, I should say internationally, that are not U.S. And the reason I say that is because I've noticed that in through the first couple of months of this channel, I was reaching out primarily to the U.S. And in the month of January, I opened it up internationally. And I've had a response internationally. But primarily from Bangladesh and Nepal. You guys are top of the list. So what I'd like to do is make sure that this is not information that's reaching you and it's entertaining, but that you're actually making money from this. And the way that you can make money from it is by you being able to have brokerage accounts that you can invest in. I've tried to look for a couple, but I've been pretty much running up against a brick wall. I tried Fidelity just to find out. They say that you can trade internationally, but I haven't found that to be the case. When I actually researched it, actually with somebody over there in Bangladesh trying to open up an account. So now, I'm asking you guys, in Bangladesh, in Nepal, if you are currently investing in stocks, in the, in the American stocks, U.S. stocks, and also if you're doing trading options, but even if it's just stocks, and you know of a broker that people in either of your countries can sign up with to trade stocks, please leave that in the comments so that other people in your countries can see that and they can benefit from it as well. And also, if you're in another country and you're watching this video and you are in the same predicament, you need a broker where you can actually trade U.S. stocks, buy and sell U.S. stocks, please ask if anybody knows of a place in the comments. And if you're looking in the comments and you see that and you know of a place, Please leave that comment there letting them know which broker they could try out or which broker they can use. Now, another broker that I've heard of that I've heard that they deal internationally, but I can't confirm this. I don't know if that's true. But if you guys can try them out. And if you find that you've tried them out and you are able to use them from your country, please let us know in the comments that you were able to sign up and use them. That is Interactive Brokers. So you can give Interactive Brokers a try. And if you find it's true, please let everyone else benefit by leaving that in the comments so that they can see it, so that I can see it. I'd appreciate that. Now, a few things you can look for when you're looking for a broker or consider. Can you buy individual stocks on the U.S. market? Not just ETFs, which is exchange-traded funds. You want to be able to buy individual stocks, the same type of stocks that I talk about in this week's winning stocks or this week's option pick. You want to be able to 
buy and sell options if you, if you trade options and understand them. And I have many videos talking about options in the channel. But options can be dangerous. So you want to understand them if you're going to buy and sell them. And if the brokerage doesn't deal with options, but they just do stocks, please let us know anyway. If they offer margin, it's a plus. It's not required, but it's a plus. Because if they offer margin, that means if you have over $2,000 in that account, you can borrow money to buy more stocks. Let's say you have an account with $5,000 in it, and they give you margin. You can buy up to $10,000 worth of stocks. So if you have margin available in that account, it's a plus. And you want an account that has relatively close bid and ask prices. And that's for stocks and options. Now, some of you may not have the money to trade stocks. If you get a Webull account, if you open up a Webull account, and I'm not sure if Webull, if you can open an account internationally, but I'm just saying you want, I'm, the only one I know of doing it now is Webull. If you know of another, let me know. If you open a Webull account, you can actually paper trade on there, which means you can buy stuff without having any money in the account. And then you'd be able to see how much money you would have made if you actually made that trade with money. If you want to try out these strategies before actually putting money on the line. Now, I need you guys' help with something as well. Usually I offer you the benefit of whatever financial knowledge I have. But I was recently speaking to a specialist on YouTube about getting more organic growth on my channel. And one of the things that they said to me was that if I want more organic growth, I have to narrow down the information I'm offering to more so one defined project. The problem is I don't want to do that because I want you guys to benefit overall from a range of things that I'm offering you on the channel. And I want to reach out to a number of different audiences. I don't want to just reach out to one audience. I want to reach out to a number of audiences, which is why I have so many different kinds of videos. I have the best gift for your child, and that's where you can learn about opening up a brokerage account for your children so they can learn about stocks and investing and benefit from it, not only now while they're still young, but even as they grow older and into adulthood. I have five things you can do if you're 50 or older with no or little retirement which is the predicament that a lot of people are in and they really know don't know anything about what they can do financially because they're already on a bad footing. I have financial New Year's resolution where I'm telling people, listen, it's the New Year's, make your objective to improve your financial situation. I have what are currencies so that people can ex understand what exactly different currencies are. And for those who are international, they understand, oh, you have the U.S. dollar, you have the Japanese yen, you have the British pounds, and so forth. 
they understand different currencies, especially those who are international. But did you know that you can make money with those different currencies? I have savers or losers, where I speak about the fact that when you're saving money in a bank, you're usually losing money to the rate of inflation. So I cover a wide range of su subjects to reach out to a number of different people and help a number of different people. And I would really appreciate it if you guys, since I'm not able to get the organic growth from the YouTube algorithm, if you guys could help me by sharing these videos with others, maybe you have social media platforms, you put these videos on your platforms, um, you may know of people in some of these situations, you'll share these videos with them. If the YouTube algorithm is not going to reward me for trying to reach various people in various different situations, I wish you guys could reward me and help me by sharing these videos. But in any event, guys, you have a great weekend and have a prosperous new market week. And I'll speak to you in the next video.